What's up guys? Today I'm going to be organizing my pantry using all affordable products from the Dollar Tree. So make sure to stay to the end so I can show you how you can really maximize any small space that you have. You know you're everything. Before I could even start the process of organizing anything, the first thing I wanted to do was to completely remove everything from the cabinets. This allows me to see everything that I do have, not only food-wise, but also when it comes to organizational products. Because before heading out to the store, I do like to see what I can reuse, and then I will go to the store and purchase anything new. You know it's not about Once everything has been removed and taken out of the pantry, now it's time to go in and give it a good wipe down because of course over time things have spilt and I'm using the Method All Purpose Cleaner today and you are going to see in just a little bit, I'm going to follow that up with using a handheld vacuum. So once I cleaned out the pantry, I'm now moving on to the complete mess that is all over my countertops. And what I like to start by doing is going through and checking the dates on everything to see what I can actually throw out. Because honestly, what is the point of organizing anything if you're going to put old stuff back in there? And I have a huge black trash bag and you guys would be surprised with how much stuff I ended up throwing out from old pasta to majority of the cans that we actually had in there. There were things that were from like 2016 and that's so embarrassing to say, but I'm going to be so transparent with you guys. These were things that we had just completely forgotten about. And there were so many like-minded items from a ton of different um, salad dressings to probably about eight different boxes of cornmeal mix and things like that. So I think we are good on buying anything new for a while. Dollar Tree has so many different amazing and affordable items that you can use to organize anything. They typically are my first like stop shop when I'm looking for things. So I found this little like basket or bin and it was a pack of three for only a dollar and you really can't beat that. And then I used these larger bins to try and store all of the pasta that we have. And I would combine any boxes that were the same, that just like were half full. So it gave me more room and space to use that. But you guys will see in a little bit that I end up switching this out and using a larger basket because I wasn't able to fit all of the pasta that we had. You got nothing 
One of the things I definitely wanted to change was how we stored any of the plastic bags that we got from the supermarket. So I picked up these self-adhesive hooks along with this, it was like a three pack of like little mini laundry bags. And I thought this would be perfect to hang on the side of the door, which helps us maximize the space that we do have. And that's where we stored all of the plastic bags that we bring home. I have mentioned these bins in numerous videos from my laundry organizational video to previous pantry videos, which I will leave linked down below for you guys, but they are absolutely amazing and super affordable. They're from Ikea, they're no more than $3, and I have seen them at other stores, but they're way more expensive. What I love is they allow you to really maximize any small space and you can stack them as well. So what I ended up doing is putting all the sauces um, that I could find in this bin. And back here are all of our different salad dressings along with um, ketchup and stuff. I tried to group like-minded things together. These are, um, this is a container with all of like the additional sauces that we have, um, you know, when we go out to eat. And then lining this wall are gonna be a whole bunch of different oils. I believe it's canola oil back there, some olive oil, um, cooking spray. And then I ended up moving the um, blue like um, can containers down here. This way we can kind of see it a lot better. And then in the front are gonna be two bins. And this basically has a bunch of different like packet powders, um, some jello. And then back here is a bunch of different like sauces, like tomato sauce, salsa, and all of that stuff as well. Down here looks completely different. So I ended up putting all of the potatoes, sweet potatoes up at the top and then the oranges down at the bottom. I might actually switch them because I was trying to hang it up on here, but it was way too heavy to do so. So I think I'm just gonna switch them so we can see the oranges a bit better. And then down here is a bunch of like apple cider vinegars and things like that that we cook with. And and then here um, is my pre-workout and then some um, spirulina for smoothies. In this bag, which is actually like a laundry bag that I got from the Dollar Tree, I put all of our extra bags that we get from um, the food store. And then up at the top, I ended up putting our bread in the pantry. I read somewhere that it's actually best to store it in um, a closed container not closed container but like in a closed space that gets dark and everything like that so i put our breads up there and then any extra like rice and stuff like that and then back here is just going to be like any of our like cooking stuff like um chocolate chips things like that and then over here is going to be different beans and then this whole bin is filled with all the different pastas. I ended up switching it into this bin um, just because it's larger and I was able to fit everything. And then I also got these jars from the Target Dollar Spot and I put all of our um, like those crystal light and stuff like that. And then up at the top is gonna be all of our different sugars and then any of our like lemonades and things like that. And then we had a bunch of different um, corn mix for making cornbread. So I put that up there as well. <laughs> 